Have you ever pondered the true meaning of malnutrition? Often, it's thought to simply imply a lack of food. But in reality, it's a far more complex issue that encompasses both undernutrition and overnutrition. Diving into the first category, undernutrition, it's a state that results from inadequate intake of food and nutrients. It's a silent epidemic that affects millions of people worldwide, particularly children under five. Undernutrition can manifest in several ways. Let's start with stunting. Stunting is a chronic condition that arises from long-term nutritional deprivation. It's not just about being short. Stunting affects a child's overall development, impairing cognitive abilities, and reducing immune function. Next, we have wasting. Wasting, unlike stunting, is an acute condition. It's characterized by rapid weight loss or a failure to gain weight, resulting in a thin, frail appearance. It's often the result of acute starvation or severe disease. Then, there's being underweight. This simply means weighing less than the normal or healthy weight for one's age and height. It's a clear sign of nutritional deficiency, and it puts children at a greater risk of infections, developmental delays, and even death. Lastly, undernutrition can lead to micronutrient deficiency. This occurs when the body lacks essential vitamins and minerals required for proper growth and development. Common examples include iron deficiency leading to anemia or vitamin A deficiency causing night blindness and immune dysfunction. On the other end of the spectrum, we have overnutrition. This is a form of malnutrition where the intake of nutrients is oversupplied. The body gets more than it needs, and this leads to overweight and obesity. Overweight means having extra body weight from muscle, bone, fat, and or water, while obesity refers to having a high amount of extra body fat. Both conditions are assessed using measurements like body mass index, BMI, which compares a person's weight and height. In children under 5, overnutrition is assessed using World Health Organization, WHO standards that compare a child's weight for height to a reference population. When a child's weight for height is more than two standard deviations above the WO child growth standards median, they are considered overweight. In summary, malnutrition is a broad term that includes both undernutrition and overnutrition. Undernutrition, which includes stunting, wasting, being underweight, and micronutrient deficiencies, is a result of inadequate intake of nutrients. On the other hand, overnutrition, leading to overweight and obesity, results from an excess intake of nutrients. As we wrap up, remember that malnutrition, in all its forms, is preventable. Adequate nutrition is a fundamental right of every individual, and it's the foundation of health and well-being. So let's strive to understand it better and work towards its eradication.